Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. Today we're getting back into the three pound robot and we're doing a lot of 3D printing, like a lot. First thing, getting rid of these old motors, getting some new planetary brushless motors. Hopefully this will resolve the issues I've been having. As well as number two, we're gonna make the decision and get rid of all of these parts and make a thicker robot. That will allow me to fit all the components much more easily. First thing, we're gonna print out some motor mounts. Two at once, because I feel dangerous. Then we're gonna print out two back pieces. as well as two wheel guards. And two wedge lit pieces. There's all the pieces. If you look closely, you can see the differences. We're about a quarter inch thicker than the original pieces. And you can see I've made some changes to this. And it's thicker as well. We will need new side rails that I am not going to print out of TPU. They will be milled out of aluminum, but I will print out probably PETG test pieces so that we can assemble this and see if this all works. I have gone through several versions of the motor mount. Here's the first version. And once I put the motor in, you can kind of see I left a lot of room, too much room. So we're gonna, I got rid of that in version number two. Much tighter, but there were a few more things I wanted to change. So then we got to this version where I, you can see the holes no longer go all the way through. And I added two vent holes if I need them. And then to make the final version, I just rounded everything off and added a little more space in that rear cavity. So let's get all these pieces cleaned up and see what we have then. Now, before I go too crazy, I want to see how the two parts, the motor mounts and the rear plates, accept these brass inserts. The PETG accepts them really well. I'm not sure how TPU will. I've never tried it before, but here we go. This method is really simple. You just use a soldering iron to heat up the insert and push it into the plastic. did have a failure in my first attempt, as you'll see right here. I ended up getting a little off center and it filled with molten plastic and it was also way too overheated. So definitely requires less heat than PETG. No big deal, I'll just 
Be a little more careful. Have to print another one of those out, though. This little screw here just helps me push down the insert a little straighter.